Squirrels have had some excellent PR advice. Give the public adorable, clever, cute on the bird tables of the UK and you can literally get away with murder. And that's just what they do, especially at this time of year. So Paul is with Scott and they're hitting a couple of the woods. It's a lovely day to be out, but if you're going to go and ambush a few squirrels, it's quite good if they're um, in their drays. And a wet, windy day, they'll all be in the drays. They'll but today, it's a nice sunny day, they'll be out. And you'll see them on top of, the, on top of these uh, trees, and they'll be like sunbathing. But it's all right, we'll shoot a few around these hoppers. We've put out a few uh, feeders half of the season for the pheasants, um, keep them keeping the areas. And um, basically what happens is you get lots of squirrels there. So it's a good way to control the squirrels. Go to the area where you've been feeding the pheasants. We get a few guys in shooting them with, with the rifles as well. But when they're skittish, we go in there with Hot Shot Scott and myself and um, ambush them. Try and shoot a few around there and uh, yeah, it's another way of stopping them from destroying the game crops like last year and splitting all the water pipes. So, let's go have some fun. Let's go wipe his eye. <laughs> Oh yeah, because you're a hot shot. It takes a few drays before we get lucky. See him? Inspect the quarry. Dirty little rat. Big pregnant female. Yep. Seems a shame, but they cause devastation, don't they? So. Hey, I did. I tried to hit the trees to make him flush him out. Didn't work, did it? Another one. Another pregnant female. Oh, it's not. It's one like Scott, look. <laughs> that reminds me of Scott, it's the size of them. <laughs> Paul is firing a lot of shells into sticks and leaves, but he still sees it as value for money. All that effort so far and all those cartridges, we've got two squirrels. One, we've probably had half a dozen babies. The last has like seven squirrels. So basically shot eight squirrels in theory. But last year, a dry, really dry summer, and uh, the squirrels are going to the pheasant pens and hammering the, the blue alkaline pipe for the drinkers. It's not just the piping, it's when they do it and you've got medication in the water and then you've got pulps, you know, they might drain the pipe down during the day, the time you come back there in the evening, you've got pulps like water. So it's not just holes in water piping, you put up with that, but it's sort of everything else. And then obviously they've got the forestry side, they ring bark in the got plantation over the back there, they've got a lot of uh, oak trees and they ring bark in the uh, young oaks, devastated the whole plantation basically. Yeah, so each squirrel is really important. Paul's not just assessing the drays, he's looking for other signs that indicate fresh use of that dray. He's confident about this one. So you can normally tell the drays that are being used or the trees that are being used because the marks you see at the bottom of the tree, got some scratch marks going up where they're using the tree. Same as you see uh, any sort of like animal runs basically, whether it's deer or rabbits or, or rats. At the top of the dray here, got a lot of markings where they're scratching the uh, bark and Moving up and around the tree. The reason why, <laughs> the reason why it's quite good with you two of you doing it because you flush the squirrel out the dray, and the squirrel will come out and obviously you use the tree as its its cover, and it basically 
as you walk around the tree, if you're on your own, you walk around the tree trying to get it and it'll keep manoeuvring around the tree. So if you've got two of you, one on each side, one of you can spot it and, and uh, shoot it. That's the plan. You were right. I was right. On the money. All right in the head, headshot. Another female. Paul has a multi-shot Remington semi-auto and Scott has the pump action. Sometimes the shots come thick and fast. Three shots, three to one. You're the slippery little customer, that one. These boys didn't even notice it. That's the, that's the, that's the uh, more important thing. Squirrel running for a tree, they couldn't even see it. Maybe not the most cost-effective squirrels we've ever got, but at least they won't be eating any more alkaline pipe, boys. Two females, good ones to get. Well, hell broke those, sir. Yeah, yeah, got to get them down, David. As Paul says, we need them down, so what sort of shells should you be using? Well, we have Andy's Game Ball Clear Pigeon 32 gram sixes. They're potent enough to penetrate the drays and either kill them inside or push them into a clearer shooting opportunity. Here we've got Clear Pigeon, which is obviously Andy's uh, cartridge. It's a good, reasonably priced cartridge, doing a lot of pigeon shooting, getting through a lot of rounds. It's a good way of, a good efficient way of doing the job. They still kill well, but not as heavily priced <laughs> as the, the, the George Digweed cartridges. Um, I actually really do like these, but it's not a cost effective way of, of blowing out drays and, and shooting a lot of vermin. Um, cracking uh, pattern and killing power. You see the two different there, you see the different size pellets inside. It's all about where you put it and shoot it at a sensible distance. Um, but that's also why we have the auto, so we've got plenty of firepower. Obviously, when you're shooting the autos, you're pumping out cartridges out the side, empty cartridges, so again, it's a thing to instill in your brain to bang, 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 pick, pick, pick. Um, otherwise, you've got cartridge everywhere. Obviously, after the shoot days, we pick up all the cartridges, so no different than when you're out, out and about doing vermin control. If you have a preferred squirrel cartridge size, let us know in the comments below. On the way back to the truck, Paul wants to show us the piping that needs to be binned. Nibbling through the pipe, there, there. You see where one of the lads repaired it. We've run out of fittings. Down here, another repair. You know, it's basically it's quite rubbish, you no? Know? They are a serious pest, really, you know, with, with um, eggs, fledglings, like small. Um, we had it in the garden last year. Um, we had a, a nest of blue tits. We had a starling come and take the youngsters, squirrel come and take the youngsters and a uh, woodpecker come and take the youngsters. All from the same nest, yeah. So, but yeah, actually the squirrel went in the top and killed them all. <laughs> right. So a reasonably successful morning, and we hope a few more songbirds might make it out of the nest. In the meantime, across the country, garden-dwelling squirrels with their fluffy tap dancing will be entertaining the masses before having blue tits for breakfast. <laughs>